game of the week is Pocatello versus Century for the 4A district title. Here's Diamondbacks head coach Ryan Fleshman pregame going over the team's three Ps, starting it off with today's proverb, the man in the arena from Teddy Roosevelt. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who at best in the end knows the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. That's all I really want. One more week with you guys. Let's go on that week. I'll see you on the bus. The Game of the Week on KPVI is sponsored by Ron Sayer Auto Group. And it's senior night for the Thunder as we take you to the highlights as Pocatello seeks back-to-back -back district titles. First drive of the game, the Thunder go the length of the field. Hunter made a crew hails. Check out the footwork. The senior back from injury and contributing in a big way. He is pumped up after the score. The Thunder get it back later on, but the Diamondbacks forcing the pressure, and it gets home. Charlie Horrocks with the big-time sack for the road team. Now Century is driving. David Satter fakes the handoff. He keeps it. Tristan Burroughs lays down a block for his QB. Satter picks up a solid gain for the D-backs. More from Pokey. May looking to the air. Screen pass. Riken Echohawk catches it out of the backfield. The junior just picked up an offer from ISU. And here you can see why. Somehow stays in bounds and finishes the playoff with some power. Thunder on the move. How about some more from Echo Hawk? Takes the carry this time, going wide to the left side, breaks through the first tackle, keeps it churning, and takes a sea of Diamondbacks to get the tailback on the ground to end the play. The Thunder cap the first half of the field goal from Garrett Keller, and they add on in the second. Pocatello is your 4A district champ. 